This video will teach you how to use the Ag Evidence Data Dashboard. Ag Evidence shows how conservation agriculture in the U.S. Corn Belt impacts cropping systems and the environment. To enter the tool, you will click the Explore Data and Findings button. The matrix shown here allows you to choose specific combinations of agricultural practices, which are the rows, and environmental or agronomic outcomes, which are the columns. The numbers in the box refer to the number of data points associated with that combination of practice and outcome. And the color of the hue of the box is proportional to the amount of data. A darker shade of green means there are more studies available. Moving your cursor over a box will invite you to click for further information. Clicking on the boxes is how you'll get to see the data. We'll do that shortly. But first, let's talk about the map. The map shows the locations for each of the studies and observations in the data. At the top of the map, you'll see the number of studies and the number of observations in the currently filtered data. Since we haven't clicked on the matrix yet, this describes all the data. The reason these two numbers are different is that each study can include multiple locations and have multiple data points. On the map, you'll see icons with numbers, which refer to the number of studies clustered in that general area. You can zoom in or zoom out by clicking the plus or minus buttons in the upper left-hand corner, or you can click on a cluster icon to zoom in specifically in that area. When you zoom in, some icons no longer have numbers. These refer to individual studies. If you hover over these individual studies, you will see the title, year, and authors of that study. You can click on the icon to see more information about that reference. Most studies have a link that you can click to be taken to an external site where you can download the paper. The Refresh button will refresh the zoom to the full extent. So one of our favorite parts of the map is the background, which was created by the USDA. You'll notice the colors on the map are the actual colors of the most common soil type for each of the locations. So it's like you're looking directly at the soil. Now let's explore the data by clicking on one of the cells in the matrix. These bean plots show the percent change in the outcome due to the specific practice. In this case, the practice is reduced tillage. The control is the lack of use of this practice. In this case, the control would be conventional tillage. For cover crops, the data would show the change due to use of cover crops compared to not using cover crops. You can use the menu bar at the top of the page to select the control, the treatment, and to also filter the data by other categories. These categories may change depending on which combination of practice and outcome you choose. To get information on how to interpret the chart, you can click on the question mark next to the chart title. The thick black line shows the average percent change. The background colors tell you how to interpret the change. Red refers to a change that is not considered beneficial. Green is a change that is considered beneficial. And yellow either has no inherent normative interpretation or depends on the context. The thin black lines refer to individual observations. In cases where categories have many observations, these are clusters of observations that are similar. The shape of the bean plot illustrates the number of observations. The shape of the chart is wide where there are many observations and narrow where there are few. For categories with less than 20 observations, we do not show the shape of the distribution because there are too few data to confidently say what the distribution should look like. Just below the data panel, there is a timeline that shows when the studies were published based on the current filtering of the data. Just like with the map, you can roll over individual studies in the timeline to review more information. To the right of the timeline, below the map, is a button that allows you to see a citation list of all the papers based on the current filters. There are links in this list to where you can download each individual paper. You can exit this view by clicking the close button. Each of these chart panels shows a category of data, like nutrient reduction. You can click each of the categories to see data for more specific categories. If you click on Nutrient Runoff, you will see data for specific types of nutrients. The map and timeline will update for this new filtering of the data. If you want to go back, then you can hover over the breadcrumb trail at the top left of the page. If you hover over the rightmost breadcrumb, you can select a new top-level category to review in more detail. If you want to see the first plot, then you can click on this breadcrumb without selecting a new category. If you want to go all the way back and select a new combination of practice and outcome, then hover over the matrix breadcrumb. 
You can go even further into the data by clicking again on a specific panel you are interested in. This will show you all of the observations, what was actually measured and reported by the study, the associated percent change, and the change in the actual units of the data. If you hover over an observation, you will be given information about the study that it comes from, and you can click the row in the table to see more information about the reference the observation is from. You also have the option in Ag Evidence to download the dataset. You can download the currently filtered data by clicking Download Full Dataset under Observations. You can also click the arrow in the control bar to download the currently filtered version of the data. This arrow will also give you the option to download the dataset or an image of the chart associated with the current filtering. You can also use this chart in your work, like in PowerPoint presentations or teaching materials. If you would like to download the full unfiltered dataset, then go to the very bottom of the page where there's a link to download the full dataset. So if you don't have time to explore the datasets, or if you're not quite sure how to get the information you need, we created an insight section. This section uses the database to answer commonly asked questions about the impact of conservation agriculture. At the highest level, you will get a very simple answer to each of the questions. When you click on the insight, you will be given a more detailed answer. Each of these answers is supported by data from Ag Evidence. The links within the detailed answer will take you to a chart that addresses this question. For example, we can click to see what we've already explored, which is the impact of reduced tillage on water quality. If you are interested in learning more about how we collected, built, and visualized the data, you can visit the About and Methods section at the bottom of the page. This section gives a bit of information about the tool generally and the partners involved. It also shows when the data were last updated. If you want to see more detailed methods, click Show Methods and Sources. Thank you for your interest in Ag Evidence. We hope that you find it useful. If you have any questions that are not answered, please take a look at the Frequently Asked Questions document at nature.org forward slash ag evidence. You can also send an email to agevidence at tnc.org.